Today I want to talk about why Intel's i9 processors that they just recently released are not worth it in my opinion. I want to make this clear. I will be completely unbiased with this episode and just tell you the facts even though my opinion is pretty much uh, displayed in the title of this video. Now before you go on and assume that I'm a big fan of AMD Ryzen 7 processors simply because I have one, let me explain. Personally for myself, um, I just care about the best that I can get for my money and not really a name brand. I chose the Ryzen 7 1800X for my computer simply because of the amount of cores and speed. And this was all under $500. Now Intel releases its first i9 processor starting at $1000. A reasonable assumption would be that these are at le the new i9 processors are at least two times better than, than the uh, Ryzen 7. But this isn't the case. Actually, they're just a bit, slight bit better, and they um, have only two more cores and basically another two threads, and they're not necessarily extremely better. Um, but the 1800X has eight cores and eight threads compared to the new i9 processors, which have ten cores and ten threads. And this is for $500 more. Now, this will not substantially increase performance in any way, and in my opinion, I think it's a waste of money. Obviously, $500 for just four extra processors is not that big of a deal. I would much rather buy a nice liquid cooler and overclock my Ryzen substantially to make an up and more improve in my performance. Now, I am aware that Intel is releasing more processors with higher amounts of cores and speeds, but I still see no need for the expensive prices. This does not include the cost of the motherboards that can fit to these processors. Uh, recently, I was just looking at the prices of these, and these new motherboards that accommodate for the new uh, shape of these processors cost, um, they usually run $100 to $300 more expensive than a current um, i7 or a Ryzen 7 board. And this included, um, I paid $600 for my board, my motherboard, and my processor. Um, while an i9 processor, you'll be paying anywhere from $1,200 or $1,200 to $1,500, and that is just for the processor and motherboard. This shows that the i9 processors are currently not worth it, especially because they're extremely expensive for all the uh, accompanying equipment. At least for the moment, I feel that that is you know not necessarily the best deal. As for AMD's response to this, they are releasing their Ryzen 7 or uh, Ryzen 9 processors to compete. These will run still in the thousands, but will have around 16 cores and 16 threads, which is double my current processor. This would be an a adequate price for something two times as better as my current processor. This new AMD processor called the Threadripper will also need a different kind of motherboard similar to the i9, ranging from uh, $200 to $300 more as well. But the processor itself seems to be a much better deal. I hope you learned something in this video, and if you enjoyed, please make sure to check out my channel for news about processors, graphics cards, and other important tech-related stuff. Thank you.